So I know I'm wearing a sweater, but I have the AC on in my room, so I don't, I'm not getting much of the heat if I'm outside, so this is why I get to wear the sweater, because I really like it. It's a Sago Lines, yes, um, <clears throat> school merch, hey. How are you guys doing? Because I know online school, it's not as easy, and it's sometimes even harder than in class, because in class you can kind of communicate with everyone else talk to your professor and everything and online is just very lonely and isolated and I am doing online school since um last semester I think it started last semester um this is my second semester online schooling but I personally I'm not um going to school on campus because my school is in Texas and I'm in California so I'm doing my graduate work online, which I knew it was going to be different because I personally like going in class and sitting there and taking notes. But um, I really wanted this to go to this school for the major that they provide. So um, yeah, it's just a sacrifice I had to make. But with this whole pandemic, it kind of even worked out. Um, better so I'm just gonna show you guys what I do some tips and tricks and then hopefully this is helpful for you guys let's get started so we're in the process right now of making our little apartment look cute so there's some mess going in the back the struggle see she has to watch something to let me do something so it'll I'm just gonna let it be so how do we stay motivated to do any work first of all so um the way I do it is I try to get new material like I get excited when I buy new material like and I get new books I like books anyway so I get excited for that um but I try to set up a, a schedule set up a routine everything something to stick to um so that's all gonna help you start getting motivated whether that's getting up working out it's a pain in the butt but once you get to do it um it really helps because after you're done and you take a shower you feel good you feel energized you're ready to go i think it's a great way to start i haven't started doing that because i'm just i can with the whole condition that i have going on um if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll link the video down below but i'm dealing with some condition of my breast so i can't really work out at the moment um but if you can i think it's a great way to start in getting i guess self motivated and, and also it works kind of like a disciplinary thing um to get you started on your day but i would say the best way is to just get a schedule just stick to a schedule just like when you had to um go from um class to class at a regular campus or regular school i think it's the best way to kind of just set your time apart you need to sit down plan it out i suggest you need you need a planner you need a planner or a calendar a regular calendar whatever works for you one of those desktop um like table calendars those big ones a planner like this a notebook it doesn't matter paper something somewhere a whiteboard somewhere where you can write down what you need to do from what time to what time it's gonna help you a lot take a day at least a day to sit down and plan everything ahead of time um see what important dates you need to write down so you don't miss deadlines and then you can also use that day to like plan for every single day what you need to get done in order to start working ahead so these are all things that you need to kind of just do on the first day so then after that you're ready to go the next morning you wake up you already know what you're going to be doing you don't waste time trying to figure out well what do i need to do so make sure you have a list to follow if you don't like planners or you don't like calendars or whatever just make sure you have a list of things that you need to check off because otherwise you are not going to remember everything you have to do um another alternative could be you can write your list on your phone and then just kind of delete it once you have it done um but just find something that will help you keep on track because it's a lie if you think you're going to remember everything you have to do for all your classes and you're going to remember all the deadlines or maybe just even using the syllabus i know a lot of professors provide the actual outlines for you so you can staple those together and use that as a checklist every day so you can follow whatever they provide um just maybe assign a day for each class so you don't get lost on what you're doing and just knowing that you have something to check off or cross out will help you feel i guess um like you've done something accomplished so that's always a great way to get started so choose do you want to work out in the morning so you just want to like turn on music loud and kind of just get going get ready take a shower sometimes that's just enough to get you 
going like I know it's hard to get up in the morning from your bed but I mean once you're up and ready to go everything kind of just flows you do not want to wake up really late you just don't so yes choose a good spot a good aesthetic some people like to light some candles the lighting I know my lamp has like three settings to like set the tone anything that helps you feel relaxed and maybe even like in a library setting I think works great if we're gonna keep it 100% real I am working from home and I'm going to school from home and I have my child here so the way I am making it work at the moment is I usually have her do some kind of activity on the side I usually have her favorite show on um, but she doesn't always pay attention to it she kind of just likes to listen to it in the background and then she does a whole bunch of mess on that side of our room um, so she's either taking out her books, she's coloring everything, even furniture and stuff like that. So it's a little crazy here to do be to be doing um, classes and working at the same time. But I'm somehow making it work as much as possible. I do run out of patience. So for those that don't have all this going on, it's a lot easier to like set your mood. But as long as you have a set area of where you're going to be doing your work, and you can put some music. I like to put some jazz on, um, specifically like the lounging type of setting, jazz. There's also like study music or anything like that. I think it also helps my child kind of stay a little mellow at the same time. And it kind of sometimes even helps her fall asleep for her nap time. So that's when I really get to do stuff because she's knocked out for like two hours. The biggest distraction for everyone is their phone. So I would suggest keeping your phone somewhere else or unless you really are good at it and you're not very attached to your phone, then it's fine if you just put it to the side. I am paranoid that something might happen or that it might, I miss an important call or something like that because hardly anyone ever calls me just for fun. Um, if they're calling me, it's for something. So I like to have it on the side with me anyways. Um, but I'm, I'm, I got, I've gotten really good at like, giving myself ooh, giving myself breaks and then um, a five or ten minute break and then putting it back down again um, but if you can't do that I would suggest leaving your phone somewhere else or putting it on airplane mode so you don't get distracted with anyone texting you or any drama any cheese man or anything like that you gotta get good about having breaks okay just give yourself a five ten minute break if you've been sitting down for an hour but then make sure you get back to it so working ahead you guys have to work ahead as much as possible I know for me this semester is gonna be a little bit more different because this semester um, we have this the, these discussion boards where we have to post our own and then reply to three other posts from other students and now I'm having to rely on those students to post so I can reply and it's almost Friday they're due on Friday today is Wednesday there's two more days I mean they haven't posted anything so I have to keep going back and checking on those discussions so I can put my input and get my full points so now I'm kind of like I, I can work ahead but I'm still ch having to go back and check because nobody has posted anything so I do not like that I don't like discussion boards I know it's an attempt to kind of like have or have us kind of communicate with our classmates but at this point I'm like I can't move I can't go too far ahead because I have to keep going back and checking on the other students that are not posting I don't know what's going on it's just like <sighs> but we didn't have that last last semester so I didn't think we were gonna have it this semester but I guess now it's mandatory since everyone's online doing online classes I'm not sure again it's a struggle because I have my child so I'm sorry you're probably gonna hear her in the background but hey so the first two weeks I would say you have to really hustle and bustle to like get ahead because if once you get ahead you're good to go because there will be days where you will feel lazy something comes up and you really want to go to or things like that emergencies come up or anything might fail like the internet or power outage I, I, I live in LA in an area where it's already happened twice and I'm like why is it going I don't know if it was because everyone was using ACs I live in an apartment complex so I don't know what happened but the whole blog I think it was our blog or maybe more blogs just went blank twice already and it was during these weeks that it was really really hot so I, I know I had my AC on and I was panicking because I was like oh no it's 9 a.m. and it's already hot and the AC went off and everything went off and I was like I couldn't do work I couldn't do school I couldn't do anything um, good thing my phone was charged though hey I usually get lazy at some point and I can afford to skip out on one or two 
maybe even three days without getting any work done because I know I'm ahead enough that I can take a break and not do anything because it is stressful and right now trying to do everything from home with my child here and my sister's also here like we're all here trying to get work done so it's hard I know my mom um is also babysitting um my sister's baby so it's just a lot going on at home and then you're actually like tempted to go to the kitchen grab something to eat then you start talking so there's a lot of distractions here so if you work if you work ahead it just it helps it, it's less stress for you because you won't be stressing that you're falling behind so working ahead big plus so let's talk about me clothing so I am wearing this nice cute little blouse you know I did my hair my makeup a little bit um, I'm wearing my glasses um, but if I get up I am not wearing anything I'm not wearing jeans I'm wearing these H&M shorts um, they're very comfy so the bottom down is just like my PJs I love being in PJs at home um, I just like to be comfortable I don't like to feel like my jeans are like stabbing in my waist or anything like that so I just kind of dress up a little bit from the top up which is kind of a good thing but I mean if it helps you get fully dressed to get into the mood then I think you should do that but for me I can do just half a little bit up and then just focus on what I'm doing now we're talking about studying I am currently studying for three classes one of them has like three papers and then the other ones are more focused on quizzes and like short little assignments mostly like discussion boards and stuff like that so um and like little weekly writing assignments which I guess it's it kind of balances out because we don't have major assignments um, the way I do it is I like to read, I like to watch lectures, and then um, I like to highlight. So I highlight two different things. I highlight what's on the quiz, like I highlight that hot pink, and then what is not on the quiz and that I just personally find interesting or I might use on a PowerPoint or something else for like later on, then I highlight them blue. So I have those two things going on. Um, vocab is usually on... Um, cars is my vocab is usually already in bold or anything important it's already kind of like bam in your face in the book so I try not to like overdo it either um so yeah that's pretty much what I do I just read the books mostly I am a graduate student so what we are doing is mostly reading um I'm not having to do any crazy um research papers or anything like that So how I study. The way I study for graduate courses is a little bit different than when I was in undergraduate. I know when I was in doing my regular courses, um, I would study my notes because they were crazy, like stuff that they would throw at you during lectures and you would have to take notes. You, It's kind of like a lot more hardcore studying because there's a lot more writing going on. For my graduate courses, I don't feel like there's a lot writing. Um, but there's a lot of like just reading and really paying attention to what you're reading and applying it to yourself especially for my um, My major I'm I'm majoring in children and family ministries So I'm focusing on the children and family dynamics and how um, children are affected by crisis by by just life overall and how we can help um, just help help families and children function with one another and kind of go through the motions when um, I guess the equilibrium of their family system is thrown out of balance so there's so much we, we're learning and I can apply them like right on on the spot to like mm, what I'm doing so that's a lot of more reflection going on than just memorizing vocab or or just like doing research okay you guys so that was it i hope this video was really helpful don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below um and i'll see you guys in my next video bye